Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about a very prestigious statistics uh, program which is offered by the Indian Statistical Institute at the undergraduate level. So the program that I am talking about is the Bachelor of Statistics Honours program which is offered by ISI. In today's video we will be talking about the scope, the eligibility, the selection procedure, the number of seats and the stipend associated with this very program. And this entire video is made by Sources Classes, which is a premier organization and de in deals in imparting quality education to prospective aspirants for the premier statistics programs for all over the country. So, premier statistics program level ISI, BSTAT, then MMath. So, Sources Classes organization, our organization helps you, helps in preparing the students prepare well and ultimately achieve their dream of getting into this very good courses so this is all about us so now without wasting any further time let us get into knowing more about this program in general so let's get into it so having um, so the first thing that we need to know about this program is what is the scope of this BSTAT Bachelor of Statistics program from ISI so this Bachelor of Statistics program is basically, as it is an undergrad degree, it is a three-year program. It is a three-year program which basically focuses on the, the, the various theoretical aspects and the practical aspects of statistics and also incorporates important areas of mathematics under its fold. And bring um, and being from mathematical and statistical input, this also helps you in dealing in generating much knowledge about the basic areas of computer science as well. So basic areas of computer science you can may mostly say that that expect will be basically dealing with the theoretical computer science. So this is this is uh, broadly the scope of this state. So where is it offered? So you know that ISI has various campuses all over the country. But currently, the BSTAT Honours Program is only offered at the ISI Kolkata campus. Now let's talk about the various career aspects or the various career prospects for the students after completion of this BSTAT program. So after uh, the completion of this BSTAT program, most of the students go for an academic career. So that academic career can be in various fields starting from statistics, mathematics, computer science, economics and also the other related fields and as I've, all, as I've already mentioned theoretical C, uh, computer science is also another important field where you can pursue your academic interest after the completion of your BSTAT program. You can go for PhDs in good colleges from US you can on, on all over the world and the recommendations so since you'll be studying from an ISI and also the professors at ISI will uh, hope, will obviously provide you with good recommendations this is a very good chance for you to land up in PhD position or master's programs or PhD programs outside the country in very good colleges so that is one aspect apart from that you can also work in private and public sector organizations in public sector organizations so there comes the central statistical organization CSO so you can get into that after uh, going through the BSTAT program so that is a government organization and if not you have also the Indian statistical service which is a premier uh, service um, given by the UPSC uh, board so you can appear for this ISS exam and once you're selected through this you can uh, you're ultimately recruited in this prestigious service Indian statistical service or else you can work in private organizations in private organizations your stuff uh, you will be mainly working in in the in the current age data analytics is a very niche field so in that field you can work in a very high level so that is one aspect and apart from that if you want to work as a statistician in research and development in various labs laboratories and industries even that is possible so there is endless possibilities for you to pursue a career opportunity after the completion of a BSTAT depending upon your interest and preference. So this is all about the scope of BSTAT. Now let's move forward to some other interesting things about this program in general. So having talked about the scope for ISI BSTAT, the, the important thing that should come up in your mind that who can appear for ISI BSTAT on a program. The eligibility criteria in short. So 
anyone so the eligibility criteria is very simple so basically you should have completed your 10 plus 2 high secondary education and you must have had mathematics and english as subjects in your 10 plus 2 exam so if you have completed that then you are automatically eligible to sit for this very prestigious program having talked about eligibility criteria let's get into the number of seats which are actually available for the students so seat distribution is very general so for the b stat honors program which is currently offered at isi kolkata you have a total of 50 seats of which 25 is year marked for the general category 14 for the obc and cell category 7 for the SCS, SC students and 4 seats are earmarked for the students from the ST community. So this is the seat distribution of the ISI BSTED program which is currently offered at ISI Kolkata. Next we talk about the selection procedure. So selection procedure as is normal with any ISI program it is very very stringent. Very stringent and very tight. So that is one thing. So be prepared to work hard. So nevertheless, we should first understand what lies for you. So selection criteria is that basically you have uh, two written tests and then there is a subsequent interview. So based upon the performance in the two written tests and the subsequent interview, you will be you will be ultimately selected for this program. Now, this written test is not applicable for all. So as I've already mentioned, there is it is waived for some candidates. So it is way for those candidates who has been who have been selected as INMO awardees. INMO awardees means the International Mathematical Olympiad awardees who have been selected. So applicants who have been selected as INMO awardees to participate in the International Mathematical Olympiad training camp in the current year or any previous year. For those applicants, there is no requirement of any written test. They can directly give the interview. So this is for those. But as we know, most of us will be ultimately uh, giving the written test. So let us talk about the type of uh, question level which comes in the written test. So the written test basically comprises of questions in mathematics. It comes covers the mathematics question paper at the 10 plus 2 level. And there is both a subjective paper and an objective paper. So both a multiple choice and descriptive type questions come up in the exam. So based on the performance on the written tests and then the interview and uh, candidates will be selected. Okay, so this is the selection procedure in general. Now coming to the stipend offer. So as is the case with all ISI programs, there is no tuition fees associated uh, with the program. You get a stipend or a fellowship per month of rupees 3000 over and above a contingency grant per year of rupees 3000 for helping you to buy, to buy the relevant books and stuff like that. So this is all about this program in general. Talking about the placements, as I've already mentioned, you can use secure good placements and it has been observed that the average package almost lies in the range of 15 to 17 lakhs per event. It can even be higher, but on an average, you can expect a minimum package in this range. So this is a very high paying, um, if, if you want to go for a job, you can see over here that there is a very high uh, compensation or CTC associated with this very program. So I hope after this video, uh, then the information that you have provided so far, it will be helpful and be more and help you to, and be helpful in motivating you further to uh, sit for this prestigious exam and ultimately be part of this program at, at, at the end. And in case if, if you have any doubt, or you need some, some some help regarding the preparation of this regarding preparing for this very exam then you can comment in the comment section below and we at sources classes will reach out to you and try to help you out in your quest in getting into this program as much as possible thank you for watching this video good luck